Welcome to my Thief 2 drama tutorial. This will be a quick way to get started making your own fan missions for Thief 2. Before we get started, I wanted to point out the TTLG forums. It's a great resource. You can find under Thief Mods and Utilities uh, the Thief 2 Fix files, which is the patch to get Thief working on modern computers. What you need, I already have mine installed, but what you need to do is uh, run this Thief 2 file and go through the installation. Pick your Thief 2 folder. Mine is here. Go to next. I like standard and you select Dramed. Go here. High video preset and install. So once that's installed, browse to your Thief 2 directory and um, open Dramed. So, before we do that actually, uh, we need to make one change, which is go to the cam mod INI and you'll see this FM selector. Uh, it'll have this semicolon, you get rid of that, and you save. So, you also need the F FM's folder, and here you can create a folder for your own fan mission. So, I'll create a new one called new and that'll be where my fan mission exists in all its files. So now I load Dramed and with the MF FM selector I select the folder I just created, new, and now you see Dramed. Okay, under Dramed we have nothing. So what we need to do to see something is portalize. And that'll render the world. It starts with this default terrain brush. We can press Alt-G to run around and navigate in, and we press Alt E to exit. You could also go to game mode this way. That's Alt G. So to make this bigger, what I do is go down here to width. Let's do 60, and depth, we'll do 40. Now this will get bigger. Bigger box to run around in. Now we have this crazy texture here that we want to add our own textures. So go to textures, add, and we'll do VMA Forest, and we'll do uh, Core 1. Now if we press Alt T, we can see the textures, the two texture families were added, and we can add our own texture by double clicking, because the terrain brush was selected. I'm navigating in this window with the WASD buttons. You can also go up and down with Q and E to move around or side to side with Z and C. That'll help you move around the world. So now if we want the sky we just click the sky texture that'll add the sky and for the ground we could add something like grass or we could add asphalt. Alright, we can close the texture window and navigate the world and see the game with the textures and the sky. Okay, the next thing we need to do is turn our camera into Garrett. And to do that we have to do a few steps. First go to Editor, Object Hierarchy, and expand to F Nord and on marker click create and drag a new marker onto the screen. This marker we want to name it something and we'll call it starting point. It's any name you want but this is where the game is going to start so we'll call it starting point. Now we add a link to Garrett which is negative 2099. Every object has a number. We need to call this player factory. That's going to associate that starting point with Garrett. Then we add a script under the properties S scripts called victory check like that. 
now we have Garrett set up. I'm going to save this mission now as a cow file. And I'm going to run it. Now Garrett has a health bar. Next we need to load some scripts to make the world act like a normal thief world. Fortunately we have these load convict click that that loads the module at the bottom then script load gen after you've done that the scripts will operate in thief as expected after the scripts are done you'll notice there's no sound in the level to make sound we select the ter terrain brush we click shift and insert That'll automatically insert a new type of brush called a room brush, which adds sound. Instead of portalize, now we build the rooms. When we go into the game, we'll hear sound. Next, let's give some items to Garrett. To do this, I'm going to build something called a blue room by cloning the current brush with the clone button. Once it's cloned, which is a copy of the existing brush. I'm going to put a new terrain brush, 100 units, somewhere off to the side, away from the existing brush. I'll also put its own room so Drama doesn't complain to us that a room doesn't exist for these objects. So now I'm just going to distinguish it by giving its own textures unique to this blue room. And this will be where all the objects go that we don't want visible to the player. So Garrett's inventory is among that. To make his inventory, we'll go back to object hierarchy and we will select some weapons. So under physical, we find weapon, swords, and sword. Create. And now Let's add the sword here by dragging. There's the sword. Now we'll give Garrett a blackjack. Create the blackjack. And we'll give him some projectiles. So we have broadhead arrows. Create. And instead of just one, we can add more. Click the properties, go to add. You go to engine features, stack count. Here we can say five broadheads. Next, let's give him a water arrow. And finally, we can give Garrett um, some tools. So some of the tools would be lockpicks. There's one. There's the other. And a compass. So all of these objects, you see the number at the bottom. Sword is six, blackjack seven, and so on. So to easily assign these to Garrett, I just remember these numbers real quick. So 6 through 12, is Garrett needs to contain these objects. So we'll click back on the starting point, which is now Garrett, go to Properties, and add a link. Actually, let me go to Links. Click a link, add a link, contains, and we'll say starting point which is Garrett contains six which is the sword seven blackjack eight broadheads nine water arrow ten lockpick eleven other lockpick and 12 compass. Now, when we start the game, we can cycle through our inventory and see all the items 
that we gave Garrett, including the five broadheads. The next thing you'll notice is that this world is very bright, um, and Thief is a dark game. The reason for that is we haven't toggled the lighting. So once we toggle the lighting, you can see that it darkens. However, dark isn't exactly dark right now. So let's go into the mission variables and make dark a little darker. So under rendering parameters, we have the ambient light setting. You can lower this to what you want for the light. I'm going to drop mine down a bit and close that and reportalize. Now dark is dark. When you go to the game, you can see it's very dark, but Garrett is still completely bright. To fix that, we also need to do another option, which is build pathfinding. Now, when we enter the game, it's really dark for Garrett as well as the world.